Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. I thought we'd have a quick look at profile cylinders and what the difference is. Now, a lot of the time when a locksmith pulls out a cylinder out of the car, they first check it to make sure it's going to suit the right lock. There's generally two types. You've got fixed cam and floating cam. Floating cam will be used on a screen door lock, such as this one here. That's a floating cam. So from the 12 o'clock position, it's going down to about 5 o'clock. 5, 12. Okay. Then you have, so that would probably be used for screen doors. Then you have mortise locks, which use the same type of shape cylinder, but the cylinders are different. Here we have the one for a mortise lock. And as you can see, this is fixed. This is not moving. When the key moves, it moves that cam. See, it can go all the way around and it can happen on both sides. Okay, the only difference to that is that you can have a turn snip. This one has a turn snip. So, if the, if the lock is turned or the turn snip's in any which position. This one has the, um, I believe it's the anti-panic function, I think that's what they call it, where if this is turned, you can still come in from the outside, put your key in, rotate it around until you hear a click, like that, pick up the cam and drive drive the cam to unlock the lock. Very straightforward. Now, sorry, it's called anti, I think anti-panic function. Now here's another cylinder. This is made by Brava as well, and this has the anti-panic function in it. So you turn this cam and you're thinking to yourself, oh no, this is the wrong cam, this must be for a screen door. But it's not. It's actually got anti-panic function. What that means is, it doesn't matter where the cam is, you can put the key in, rotate it around until you hear that click. There we go. And now you picked up the cam and you can operate it. This anti-panic function is good because it does uh, what a lot of the other cylinders can't do. Let's say, for example, You've uh, got a key on the inside, you've turned, you've picked up the cam, and it's it's in position, okay? And you've got the key turned on the inside. Let's say somebody comes home and they want to use that key from the outside. With this particular anti-panic function, you can turn it until you hear the click, and now you've picked up the cam again, and it's driving the key on the inside as well. So basically, you're not creating a lockout situation by having a key on the inside and turned, which can happen. Let's look at this cylinder now. We've got the key. Let's put it in and turn it, operate the lock, and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the key placed in, and we've gone clunk, and we've locked the lock. The cam is now at a 5 o'clock position. Somebody from the outside has the key, come in, and they can't get the key in. Can't get the key in, so they're actually locked out now. And what will need to happen is a person on the inside would need to rotate this, pull the key out, allowing the first key, the outside key, to be able to go in and start to drive the lock. So you can't have two keys driving the lock at the same time. See, that one won't go in. If I pull this one out, this one will go in. So what happens here is a little part flicks between. So if you're pushing it from this side, little part flicks over this way and allows it to drive. And when you pull it out, this key, the tip of the key pushes the part in from the other side and allows that to drive. That's the way they generally work. That's the way a lot of standard cylinders are. Uh, that's the way it's been for many, many years. So having a lockout situation where the key is pushed in and turned can happen and has happened. That's why this anti-panic function is quite handy push it in from one side, drive the cam, doesn't matter where it is, still can get the key all the way in, pick up that cam and drive it as well. So big difference, big difference, more handy. So for, from now on, all the cylinders will be kind of doing, will be this anti-panic function because it's definitely, uh, you know, a lot better. This is a Brava cylinder, it's got uh, the matte black on it. I don't know how long that will last, but generally it should last quite a bit because it's been coated well. It's not just been spray painted or anything. Uh, you've got your Allen keys along the top there. I think it's like a three mil Allen key. You can remove them for quicker rekeying so that you don't have to bend this circlip or dig this circlip out. Make it a little bit easier to just basically load in your bottom pins through these chambers and your top pins and your springs and then just zip it up with these Allen keys. I have seen some of these Allen keys come out, uh, especially when the cylinder's mounted in the upside down position and that's the way that it's mounted in the lock. So they can come out over time, but it is quite rare and that's generally because whoever to build the lock didn't tighten them up tight enough. Okay, so there is three different versions of the same looking cylinder. Um, Non-anti-panic, single-sided, and um, double-sided panic, and screen door, only used for screen doors. So for this one here, if you have that pushed in, you can still pick it up. So that's kind of an anti-panic one as well. So these two would be my preference of putting on anybody's front door because Generally, it can happen where one person is inside, they leave their keys hanging on the back of the door, they push it in, they turn it, they lock the lock, and they leave the key in the upside down position. And then uh, the old man gets home, can't put his key in, he's had a long day, and he's getting the shits at his missus because she's got a keys pushed in and turned, and he's told her never to do that. 
but she does anyway. In that scenario, rather than uh, resulting in a desert domestic dispute, you're better off just getting a new lock cylinder and you can purchase these from our lock shop and just look for the words anti-panic because not all of them are anti-panic. We've got uh, the whole range of Brava cylinders, so make sure it's got that anti-panic function. Now knowing what you know, you know that's a better cylinder and it might suit your needs better. Thanks for watching.